Hello crafty friends, I'm Lynn from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be joining you again today. I have another video using reverse confetti products from their latest release and these are my favorite stems from that release. These are the Better With Friends stems, all adorable bunny images and some cute spring bugs and flowers. I love it. I also really like that kite. So I stamped pretty much all of the images from that set onto some Clairefontaine VCP 250 GSM cardstock. And I actually stamped all of them at once to make two cards. And the second card will be on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out as well. I will make sure to leave the link in the description below. So I'm stamping all of the images first with some uh, alcohol marker friendly ink. This is the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I will leave the stamps in my Misty and stamp it again later with first fine onyx black and heat emboss it with WOW clear gloss super fine embossing powder. I'm keeping the coloring really simple. The images I have colored already, those are for my second card on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel. Um, but I am loving this brown bunny and I'm going to make him fly the kite today. So the reason I always color my images before embossing them um, so I do that little extra step of stamping it twice and <laughs> embossing it after coloring is because alcohol markers and embossing powder or heat embossing don't mix. If you color with your alcohol markers over an embossed outline um, enough, <laughs> so it doesn't, it doesn't happen on the first pass over the embossing. But if you color over it enough, you will ruin the embossing powder, it will become dull, and it will eventually rub away from the paper entirely. And you will also ruin your markers because the embossing will eat away at your markers, if that makes sense. So I don't advise you to just color over your embossed outline. Just take that little extra step with the Misty to leave your stamps in place and stamp it again with first to find onyx black or any embossing ink. You can even do this with clear embossing ink and then just emboss your outline with some clear embossing powder. Now I'm finishing the kite, all of those little bows on the string. I am going to color in rainbow colors because I love me a rainbow. And then all that's left to do is color this bug. And I'm not sure where I went with the coloring for this bug. I don't know why I gave the butterfly clear wings and a red body, but it happened. <laughs> I just left it as is, stamped it again in my Misty with the Versafine Onyx Black, and then I can sprinkle over that WOW embossing. This is the Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder. Once all of that is nicely covered in powder, I can heat set it with the WOW Jewel Speed Heat Tool. And I'm using the second setting because that setting is meant for melting embossing powder. And that's it. Then I die cut them all with the coordinating dies. Now, today's card is going to use a cover die by Reverse Confetti, and it's a window cover die. But I like to put the background behind the window opening and leave the rest of the card white. So I am just covering a scrap piece of cardstock that will fit behind the window with some Distress Oxide inks. I am ink blending a sky on there. I am using blues and uh, yellows and oranges as well. I will make sure to list all of the ink names in the description below. I haven't used these Distress Oxide inks in a while, so I'm not sure of their names. Um, it's been a while. And I'm finishing it off with some purple. This is a soft lilac, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. I really like this purple. <laughs> Making sure that everything is blended nicely. But I didn't like the blend, actually. Um, it wasn't smooth enough for my liking. So I sprinkled on some water and dabbed it away. And that will just leave me with some splotches. And it will make the blending look a little bit more intentional. So if your blending isn't perfect, just make it a little bit more imperfect and it won't look as bad. <laughs> Once I'm happy with all of the splatter on there, I can glue that background down onto a card base. Um, I'm just using the Barely Art Precision Crafts glue for that. And I 
eyeballed it with the window dye over it first to know how to adhere this so i adhered it a little bit more towards the bottom so just check before you adhere everything down and this window dye is the what's it called it's the oval window cover panel confetti cuts so i love that um that double stitched edge you get around it and that big oval window i really like ovals don't know why it just really fits my design needs i guess i am prepping all of the images up on some foam tape i really like using foam tape instead of foam squares because that's just one less supply i need to buy um i like to fold my foam tape in half so i have two layers of foam tape stacked together and release paper on each side and that makes it really easy to cut it down into smaller pieces like this and this is what I love about window dyes. It really makes a scene come to life. It's so easy to make a design interesting with a window because you can put all of the color inside of the window and that will be your scene. And then your images or your critters can go over the edges of the window. And that gives the scene a lot of movement and a lot of depth. And I really like it. It's so easy to design with window dies. I have a bunch of them in my stash. These are the dies I use most often. And I just really like how easy it is to design a card with them. Now I'm finishing this card off with a couple of heart embellishments from Little Things from Lucy's Cards. I will make sure to list those in the description as well because these are some of my favorite embellishments. I adhered them with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and that finishes off the card. I didn't make the matching envelope on screen but it's just a pale pink envelope. I didn't add a stamp to it but if I had added a stamp, if I had taken a couple more seconds to do that, I would have stamped the kite on there probably. It's such a fun image. I love how this card turned out. I love that uh, window design. Like I said, I really like window designs. They make it so easy. And I really like that kite and the bunny. I love the stamp set by Reverse Confetti. It's the Better With Friends stamp set from their latest release, which was all about spring and Easter. So I hope you check out the release if you haven't already. It's one of my favorites ever. Now, as I said, I will have a second card with these bunnies over on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel, so I hope you check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.